Hey friends, it's Skezzy, and welcome to another how-to video. This one's going to be covering the bonus XP weekend preparation for the skill prayer. Deciding the best way to go about a bonus XP weekend can be stressful. Let's check it out. This won't be a full in-depth guide for any particular skill, so I'm going to assume you know the basics for each skill discussed in this series. Please note that the prices of said items discussed in the video will change depending on the time of day, month or year so please use caution and check the runescape wiki page down in the description for more information regarding price changes of set items the main concern for skills like prayer and other viables is the cost so on screen i will show a value in the form of gold pieces per experience this is the number you would multiply by the amount of experience needed for 99 120 or 200 mil to get your approximate total cost. Prayer isn't really a highly trained skill during a bonus XP weekend, but it still should get its honorable mention. Prayer is like other viables in the respect that people would like to get it out of the way for cheaper. In the past, bonus XP weekends didn't offer any good prayer training methods until the Dragon Rider Necklace and Prifdinus Cleansing Crystal came into the game. Let's talk about some preparation. No matter what level you are, preparation is always a good thing. From taking into account how much GP you have to work with, how much time you have during the weekend to spend, to even how focused you are during that time. It can really be helpful in promoting that actuality of getting that 99, 120, or 200 mil you so desire. Clan avatars can really help in getting that boost of experience. If you can hold a clan avatar yourself, that's great. You will get a 6% XP bonus in your base XP. In the past bonus XP weekends, the 6% has been doubled to a hefty 12%, which is really nice. If you can't hold one yourself, you can still get a 3% bonus for being in the same world as someone in your clan who is holding one. This 3% is also doubled to 6% during the bonus XP. If you aren't in a clan right now, you might want to consider joining one for that extra XP boost. It takes 2 or 3 days to collect the Anagotic Orts needed to gain the scaling buff from the clan avatar. There's still around 2 weeks until the bonus XP weekend comes so you will have time to find a nice clan that you like. The first age outfit is an outfit specifically made for extra experience in prayer. It consists of a tiara, amulet, cape, bracelet, and ring, each respectively giving a 1% increase in experience, with a total experience increase of 6%. This 6% is also doubled during a bonus XP weekend, which is fantastic. You can acquire this outfit via the treasure hunter if you don't have this in your bank, you may have it at Diango and Draenor Village, so don't forget to check him before buying spins. There is a first age tiara add-on also obtainable via the treasure hunter. Using the add-on will create a modified first age tiara. The tiara has a few effects that you can see on its wiki page, but the main attraction is its ability to save 2% of the bones buried or used at the home altar. It also gives an additional 1% more bonus experience. Pulse Cores are items obtained from Treasure Hunter. The Pulse Core has a base experience of bonus XP granted to the player depending on the total level while equipped. Once the bonus has run out, the core will explode granting a 2% bonus to all the players in the vicinity for the next 10 minutes. The explosion of the Pulse Core can be stacked up to 10% bonus experience. I can't confirm at this time if the Pulse Core's bonus is doubled during the bonus XP weekend. Bonus XP does not stack with the Pulse Core's and will remain unused as long as a pulse core is wielded. The scaling backpack is an item that can be earned in several forms as a reward from the Port Surrem invasion event. There are multiple thresholds during the event that will upgrade your backpack. At the 10% threshold, you get 5 charges, which give a 10 minute 1% experience boost. At the 90% threshold, you get a 5% experience boost for 10 minutes and comes with 50 charges. Whether these charges can be replaced or not is still unknown, but it may be something you would like to consider if you really want that 99, 120, or even 200 mil. Refer a friend can add an additional 10% and 20% during the bonus XP to any skilling method. To refer a friend, please click on the refer a friend option on the RuneScape homepage. Beach potions are a useful way of gathering a bit of extra experience. The anti-sun potion gives a 5% experience boost to any activity done on the beach for the next 24 hours after consuming. Another concern is what to actually do for the training. I don't recommend doing cremation. This method yields 250% experience per bone and 200% normal bearing experience as fire making experience, but it doesn't stack with brawler gloves or the bonus XP weekend. Please don't waste your time prepping for a method that cannot be done during the weekend. I also do not recommend player-owned altar training even though you get 400% experience per bone normally. Again, this method is trash during the bonus XP as it doesn't work. I also do not recommend the Dragon Rider variant. The Dragon Rider necklace doubles the experience of a Dragon-type bone when buried. 
This may not seem like much, but coupled with double XP auras such as the Summer Aura, it can be 400% of a normal dragon type bone, comparable to a player own altar. But again, this method is trash during the bonus XP as it doesn't work. The other method I can recommend is Crystal Cleansing. Although this method takes prep work, that's why you clicked on this video. You can train this method two ways. Firstly, you can use the crystal to cleanse the corrupted Seren Stone by AFK. 29 stones can be used within an hour. This will provide 294,000 experience and cost 11.22 coins per experience. During the Voice of Seren, specifically the Heaven Clan, you will gain 20% more experience, jolting you to a 352,800 experience per hour and cost 9.35 coins per experience. You can even stack more experience on this method by downing a perfect juju prayer potion, increasing your experience by 5%. This only works for the cleansing crystals, by the way. The second way to train this method is to bypass the mechanic of AFK altogether. At the start of the cleanse, you get a 2100 experience drop followed by a 275 experience drop every 6 seconds until it ends, and a final 2475 experience drop. Skipping the 275 and 2475 experience drops will yield in a much higher rate of cleansing or rather experience. There are 5 ticks or 3 seconds between each crystal being consumed, giving 2100 experience each. This yields in a total experience rate of 2,520,000 experience per hour, plus 52.38 gold coins per experience. With all the bonuses that RuneScape has to offer, as you can see on the video, I have different experience rates with all the different bonuses that you can have, the bonus XP, the total experience boost you will require on bonus XP, XP per hour per method, GP per XP per method, and then GP per XP on a bonus XP weekend. The last concern you might have is how much experience can I actually get during the bonus XP weekend? I will show a value on screen in the form of experience per hour. This is a number you would multiply by the numbers of hours that you would train your skill to get the total amount of experience gained. Towards the end of the video, I will show the total time it would take for 99, 120, and 200 mil. Here we can see you can have the time for 99. So basically what we do is we take the amount for 99, which is 13 mil approximately, and then we divide by the experience per hour to get our number. So it would take 16, a little over 16 hours to get 99 using the AFK cleansing method. And then if we just drag this down here, we can get the different time for 99 for each of them. So it would take just under two hours for the faster cleansing method. And then these ones are negligible. It's just I'm updating this uh, BXP prayer to reflect that you can't use the Dragon Rider amulet. Now for the time for 120, you would basically take the amount of XP again, which is 104 mil, and then divide it by the XP per hour again. So that would take you just under 129 hours. If you're doing the AFK cleansing, it would cost you 4 GP per XP. Now we have the time for 200 mil, so obviously 200 mil. Um, divide by the experience per hour. So it would take just under 250 hours to get 200 mil from AFK cleansing, and then just under 29 hours for AFK, uh, not AFK cleansing. Which you could literally do that during the bonus XP weekend if you had the money. Now the cost for 99 would just be the amount of XP, 13 million, multiplied by its GP per XP after the bonus XP has taken place. So it took 53 mil for 99, which isn't too bad at all. Um, and then you click and drag. So 99 would cost 200, almost 250 mil for the non-AFK cleansing. Now again, you just do 104 mil, multiply by the GP per XP, click, drag down, and then the 200 mil would be equals to 200 times GP per XP. So here we have the amount for 200 mil would cost just under four bill, but you could get it during the weekend. So if you have an extra four bill just laying around, you could get 200 mil prayer or even 120 if you want for two bill. You could get it uh, during the bonus XP weekend coming up. You choose what method you want to do. All these methods are viable during the bonus XP. This is what it would cost for each of the different methods for each of the different goals. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
please stay tuned for the next video of the how-to probably sometime next week I'm going to go over fletching if I've left anything out or you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below thanks guys for watching peace thank you very much for watching the video I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, I will see you next time peace